Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Demon Souls. So in the last one I went for a bit of a farming run in the smithing grounds. Uh, in the previous one I died several times here in the storms, Isle of Storms, whatever it was called. Um, so I figured this time around I'm gonna see what's in the last part of the Valley of Defilement before going back to the Isle of Storms, if that's even the correct name. So yeah, there we defeated the Dirty Colossus, so now I'm gonna check what's next. So if this works similarly to the other regions, there's probably the next boss fight not too far off. That should be the last one for this region. So, what do we have here? What is she doing? Go forth, Galvin. May you be unharmed. Hmm, I have a bad feeling. Nope, I can't leave. So much for that. I hear crystal lizards, I see items. I should probably not greet for those items. I can still pick up all of those after I kill the boss. Oh. Effective. Also not effective. <laughs> One damage. Fabulous. You will not turn back, will you? I shall let no harm come to dearest destroyer. May you rot in the deepest depths of this swamp. Uh, do I not? Oh, whoa. That's quite a punch. I try to roll behind him, but that's not really working out. Um, let's try to go the other way around. Seems 
seems to be rather safe, so I can double check my items. I don't think I need the flame resistance. So, I'm gonna use something different here instead. send some stuff to the storage because I'd love to pick up whatever I can find here. this, I'm basically instantly plagued. That's not great. Hmm. That explains all these items. They are basically bait. So these weird childlike things, well, they will just well, not really hold me in place, but block my movement. So if I go through the swamp, through the swamp of blood, I need to clear those first. Or I could try to get rid of the knight guarding the path at the top. Something against the HP reduction because uh, I don't mind using an item to gain my human form. But I'd rather do that once I figured out how this fight works. some way past this guy here. Okay. Can he stab me with a hammer or mace or whatever that thing is? <laughs> well, never mind. Different tactic. Where is my spear? I could also try using one of the weapons that inflict speed. It might be effective against that guy. 
And I'm not even sure if I can really kill him. It seemed a bit like the girl behind him was putting some spell on him. this entire gear so if I die I'm gonna check maybe that provides me with some late resistance Was it? Okay. That's interesting. I did not expect that to be over so quickly. So I wonder, we have will tendency here. And I'm... What, can I inspect specific worlds here? No, I can't. I see it's, it has a slight yellow glow, but I'm not sure if that's good or bad. On the right for the value of definement. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Thou seekest the power of the soul, no? Then touch the demon inside me. So basically the girl just gave up after I killed her protector. Curious. Yep. yep, yep. Let me see what I got here. Um, storage. So the dark silver helmet. That's for the guy I just killed. Okay, yeah. A dark silver helm passed down through the generations of the Vinland family. The memorable headpiece represents the Vinland's sacred, uh, yes, sacred tree. 
It's where it significantly slows stamina regeneration. Wait, that's not what I'd want. Okay, then what about the armor? Dark silver armor. Yeah, same thing here. So I think it's quite strong, especially compared to what I currently... Well, not even. Okay, I'm not sure what the point of this equipment is, if it just slows you down. Yeah, same here. I also got a new ring. No. Not sure what I got. Doesn't this? No. Sincere prayer, that might be it. Increases the power of miracles, but also lengthens the time required for each casting. One of the few remaining two relics of God discovered by Astraea, the sixth saint, and the tender young age. Well, okay. So I just killed a girl. Well, killed her protector. I didn't really kill the girl. She just gave up on her life. Why did she have a demon soul? You have a heart of gold. Oof, this game is weird. Let's see if I can get a nice spell Bravo. out of that. Thank you for offering. I cannot express my oh to have my wish granted at so late an age. Thank you, as promised. Let me. Oh, he seems quite happy. Um, do we have something new? I don't think so. Or maybe this one. I don't know which demon soul belongs to her. Yeah, the pure blood demon soul. Okay, Bravo, that was uh, blah 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 blah. Learn magic. Yeah, poisonous cloud of death. Okay, seems very strong. I am fully but uh, the ring said something about her being a saint, so I'm gonna talk to the miracle guys. See what I plan they have to, to say. All my possessions to Saint Urbain. My grandfather's articles may contain more miracle stone shards like the one he gave me, but they'd only be wasted in my hands. Saint Urbain can hear the voice of God through them. Oh, huh, yeah, of course he can. Oh, is that you? Do you have further offerings? Hmm. Force Blast, so we cover HP over time, yeah. Resurrect phantoms in their own world. Yeah, well, I don't do PvP because I don't have the online component to this game. So that doesn't really matter to me. Well. Yeah, in that case, I don't think there's much more to do in this episode. Let's see. Yeah, of course I don't have the materials to upgrade anything. Oh, well. Then we can call this one an episode. So, yeah, that boss fight, it seemed like it would be really, really cool, but it was kind of anticlimactic. Um, I know there are still a bunch of items there, but I'm not sure if it's worth dying over those, because I would get I would get the debuff. Uh, maybe I will go back for those later, but not right now. Yep, so anyways, see you in the next one, when I go back to the Shrine of Storms, I think it was. Now I remember the name. Oh, thanks and see you.